Hey, welcome back into today's video. There's a creepy orphanage on the other side of the world in the country of Azerbaijan, the city of Baku. They have a TikTok where they post their children, but something's not right. In 2022, they posted a video of a little girl named Totu. The facial expression of the little girl showed that she was terrified as she was shaking and could barely stand. A video like this obviously shocking made people want to dig deeper and they discovered that many of the children in this shelter had mysterious wounds. Strange men were seen to come visit the children of the shelter, which led to disturbing theories of the dark web. It turns out that the shelter has a very dark past. This is a deep dive into the disturbing case of baby Totu in today's episode of Exploring TikTokers. If you're unfamiliar, the TikTok channel used to be called The House of Love, and they posted content that centered around children at the shelter, specifically Baby Totu. This content would receive millions of views. The TikTok changed this name to Kanol Casamova, named after the woman who runs the shelter. Ironically enough, she also changed her own name. It used to be Kanol Gasamova, at least according to dozens of articles that detailed terrible crimes against children, to which she was a suspect. I wonder why she decided to change the names of everything. Hmm. Now we've talked about the danger of putting your children online in several videos in the past. In multiple videos, we've talked about terrible people taking advantage of children for views. When it comes down to it, the fact is, is that there's terrible people out there and they're 100% looking for your kids. In every situation where children have been the center focus of content, there have been disturbing results. And this shelter is absolutely no different. They were involved in a disturbing case with videos of children reaching several million views. And specifically in the case of baby Totu from this shelter, they were putting up videos of her when she was in compromising uh, situations to do with her health. And it seemed like the worse that her health got, the more they were posting her on social media to get attention and views from it. Now, currently the TikTok's in decline, and that's partly to do with a trial that led to a conviction where children were hurt in terrible ways. As you can see, the TikTok's losing hundreds of followers a day. Now, if you've seen the video of baby Totu while she's trembling and breathing as if she's in extreme fear, then you understand the importance of this situation. One user saying she's actually in shell shock. It's not even a joke. Another, in my opinion, she's looking at her like, how could you let someone hurt me so bad? She's completely traumatized. Another saying is called a thousand yard mile stare only happens after severe trauma. And if you don't know what that is, the thousand yard stare also referred to as the two thousand yard stare is a phrase often used to describe the blank unfocused gaze of combatants who have become emotionally detached from the traumatizing events around them. It is sometimes used more generally to describe the look of disassociation among victims of other types of trauma. This shocking piece of content broke people and for good reason if you've seen it then you understand it's one of the most heartbreaking things that I've ever seen and uh, it made people want to understand why this little girl was in so much pain and so they started looking and this led to a lot of theories and otherwise just general misinformation but first let's look into baby Totu. <laughs> baby Totu first came to the shelter on February 4th 2022. After being on a television show with her mother, she talked about her difficult life with her husband and how they divorced, but she didn't want to live with him anymore because he was an alcoholic. This post from House of Love that's now deleted says, This woman, a victim of economic violence, cannot take care of her child. In her application to us, the mother wants to live here with her child and not to receive treatment for her child. May God bless everyone in this difficult situation. Now, obviously, this is translated to English from Azerbaijan, which there's going to be some difficulties in translations, which here I'm pretty sure it meant that she wanted to get treatment for her child. Another thing that you're going to see is that in most all cases where uh, it says he, it actually means she. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. Another important detail is that Shalel didn't go to House of Love first. She actually went to another shelter that was ran by an activist named Kamala. Now it is true that Kamala rejected baby Totu and Shalel away from her shelter. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later as well. So again, Shalel was on the TV show February 3rd, to which she was suggested out to a couple shelters. And that's how she came in contact with Kanol and the House of Love. <laughs> 
Scentbird is supporting this channel by sponsoring this video. So we're back again with another Scentbird sponsorship, which is absolutely awesome. This is something that you guys like a lot, uh, these colognes. And I completely understand why. The ones that we're going to go over today, I think you're really going to like, and especially this one. Uh, and as you already know, Scentbird lets you pick new designer fragrances each month for only $17 a month. Just go to their website and select perfumes or colognes. You can select from new arrivals, best sellers, or go to all brands. There is a large collection of colognes and perfumes on this website. <laughs> My favorite cologne being Versace Dylan Blue, as you already know, and it is, it's so good. And that is a fragrance I got from this website. Now, the cool thing about it is you can test out different colognes or perfumes, whatever your preference is, and you don't have to spend the $100 a bottle. You can try different ones out, and if you like that one, then you can make the purchase. And the cool thing, they come in this little container here, and you just spray it right there on there and there's enough in this bottle it actually lasts a long time i've had some last over a month and that's using it pretty frequently it comes in this type of packaging right here and it also comes with cards that break down the specific notes in each scent and the first one i'm going to show you today is uh this is the perfumer's story by azzy twisted iris let's uh check this out and it's got notes of uh french iris violet and mm, what is that that's musks Oh, Jesus Christ, that's not my favorite. We have North Atlantic Right Well Sanctuary. It has notes of sea green accord, sparkling mandarin, marine notes, white patchouli, which I, that's, that's a hard one to pronounce, and salted musk. Let's give it a go. That's pretty good. It's nice and clean. This next one I really like. It's extremely good. I'm going to buy it. It's going it's going to be in my regular rotation. It's called Mercedes Benz for men. Notes of bourbon pepper, violet, vetiver, and petiscioli. I already know this is awesome. Oh man, that is great. Let me just uh. And again, I can stretch mine out the last over a month, so uh I really do think this a uh, good value for $17, but just since you're here, use code RIPZILLA55 off to get 55% off of your first order. It's about $7 for your first month, and you really can't go wrong with that. It smells so good. And just like every other time we've had this sponsorship, I want to know what you pick. So let me know in the comment section below from the previous sponsorships what kind of fragrances that you've liked. Also, let me know if you've tried any of the colognes that I've just showed you on the screen. Uh... That being said, thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this channel again. Really appreciate it. This is Totu's mother Chalel's application to the House of Love, and it was made on February 4th, 2022. It says that with this application, she engages herself to work for the shelter, cleaning, making food, taking care of the house, and the children. It says that all mothers who came there had to sign this application. Now, it's important to note that Totu was already very widely known as she was on television in that country. So when Knoll started posting her to the TikTok, she started to get a lot of views, millions in fact. And strangely, around that time, Knoll also became her legal guardian. The legal guardianship papers were signed in 2022. The power of attorney was issued for a period of five years and is valid until 14 to 2028. Now, I don't think it was a coincidence that Knoll took so much interest in Baby Totu after all she was posting TikTok videos that started to get millions of views and she was using that traffic to do her own things. Uh, she was seen to be uh, buying a lot of expensive clothing and going out quite a bit. Now, I can only hope that some of the money went to where it was supposed to go, but this story just gets worse, and due to the moral and ethical issues of putting your children online, and specifically in this situation, it's very obvious that she knew how many views she was getting. She says as much in an interview. Now, I wanted to cut back in here, and yes, I did shave my mustache. These videos are translated from Azerbaijan to English, so I have to say them as the video plays, just to let you know. Why do you specifically post Totu? I did it based on what our followers wanted. There was a time which I didn't post Totu for four to five days. If you would have checked my DMs, you would have seen how about 900 out of the thousand messages we received were specifically about Totu. Now, during this increase in views, it could be seen very odd videos. So in this one here, if you want to pay attention to the hand, it looks as if she's pinching her to keep her awake. Here's a close-up. There's the pinch right there, and then 
Toto will move her hand to try to stop her from pinching. Check that out. I mean, that's very obvious. And in this video here, you can clearly see Toto is sleepy, trying to go to sleep, and they're uh, keeping her up. And this does look like a continuation to perform. One user saying, I pray for her and other kids who are still there every time I see this video. And in some videos, it appeared that there were what looked like alleged cigarette burns. You can see bruises on the face and on the hand. This is said to be what looked like alleged cigarette burns on the leg here. Noticeable hair loss. Something that stands out to me is Naz Canham, the person who was arrested at House of Love, was said to be pulling children's hair, shaved and hit the children's hair against their will. It's also been alleged that children are being conditioned to act a certain way when the camera's rolling, like dancing and uh, some pretty disgusting uh, theories. Some are saying that they've conditioned her to open her mouth when objects get near, clearly suggesting the worst of the worst imaginable thing that you can uh, think of. One user saying, look at the bruises around her mouth, so sad. And interestingly enough, Knoll actually responds to this in an interview saying, These guys take all of Toto's videos from our page, slice it up, and create their own narrative. Toto struggles with breathing issues. Because of that, she often suffocates. Her lungs were blocked when she was born. Those videos of us touching her chin so she opens her mouth is a reflex she learned because we had to train her based on doctor's orders. Azerbaijani has its own laws. If I was involved in doing something inappropriate with this child, I would have been caught a long time ago. I want to point this out real quick. She's blaming people for creating false narratives saying that Totu struggles with breathing issues and that the videos of her touching her chin area and her open, opening her mouth is a reflex. Quoting saying, she learned because we had to train her. But then she goes on to say that if she was doing something inappropriate that she would have been caught a long time ago, which really doesn't make any sense to me. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So it was alleged that all this had to do with a terrible trafficking operation, which Kanul was the head leader of. And this was perpetuated by other creators on various different platforms. More random men were with Todu today. Two hours ago, some random guys on Instagram flew from Istanbul to the shelter just to see Todu. <laughs> So what we're looking at right now is supposed to be evidence of uh, some sort of uh, illegal operation. It says, watch close. Woman tells Kanul the man is caressing the kid's face. Let's watch this. It says, Kanul rolls her eyes like dude we're on camera, not right now, and he smiles. purposely looking the other way now here's the thing they're not acknowledging the woman in the room the women in the room at all and they're not explaining who these people are and for me when i see something like this and this is uh, some serious alleged things i need to find out what's the context of this and context being very important so i looked it up so this post here says let's visit the destitute children in this blessed month of ramadan which is a spiritual thing uh, uh, where they do fasting and make their hearts happy may Allah not leave any ch child without parents and then it tags the people here and what I actually found out about this is these people in this photo that were coming and visiting the children well they're they were that country's celebrities for example this dude in the red he's a famous singer who has almost a million subscribers on YouTube and gets millions of views per song and this woman here that they didn't acknowledge She's also a popular singer with millions of views on videos. And the guy in the background that's grab that grabbed his downstairs area, he's a very popular professional cameraman. When I looked into it, essentially what happens is these local shelters will reach out and try to get celebrities to come down and hang out with the children. And it's like a thing where they get to come down there and do their like ops and uh, hang out with the kids and post on their social media and things like that which you know that can have moral and ethical issues on its own but when you're given the context and the situation I mean it doesn't look good without any context but when you know the context uh, it changes a bit 
and this is a really important point, one of the things that I discovered during the research of this video was the sheer amount of misinformation and guesswork by some people. And when you're talking about situations like this, it's really important for you to try your best to put out the best to the best of your ability accurate information because if you're not doing that then you're contributing to the issue for example the full narrative of what these people are doing visiting the shelter like it's important for the viewers out there to know the full story so they can come together and form conclusions that are based on accurate situations and don't get me wrong that doesn't mean there isn't some dark and horrific things going on in in the overall situation and it doesn't mean there aren't moral and ethical issues that we need to talk about but it doesn't look like these celebrities are leaders of some type of illegal underground ring and another thing was the rumor that totu was a boy being dressed up as a girl and to be honest the creator who is doing the deep dives she's not even sure if this is a girl or not because there are articles that indicate that this is actually a boy and that they're dressing her up as a girl so we don't freaking know you know what exactly they're doing they're just clearly making money off of her and we don't know what's going on behind closed doors anyways it literally says totu is actually a boy it has been confirmed and again like i said earlier that the translation from azerbaijan to english is kind of messed up because the the word that translates uh he and her Kana is like a word that can mean both things depending on the situation, which is a common thing when it comes to languages. I am a studier of Spanish, and the word su can mean her or him. So see, as you can see, Spanish to English, it translate to his, but then if you go down, it's situational. It can mean your, his, its, their, her, his. And in the translations from Azerbaijan to English, um, in the court cases, see, it says him, it means her helpless due to his inability it means her inability defend not himself but herself what that is is people coming in not doing the research seeing what they see surface level not understanding uh the context of situations and then forming theories in their head and just going with it posting it in videos and then people thinking that constitutes some form of accurate information be careful because when you do run with things it adds layers of unnecessary trouble to make it even more difficult to help already difficult situations um, so mm. just take a look at this petition uh, and to be fair I don't even know if it was originally ha if it even had good intentions it has almost 15,000 signatures and is based around totu it says online sleuths found videos of her being passed between uh, P words for money and we've already talked about that. Those were local Azerbaijani celebrities. But then it links off to an article that you have to pay or sign up to to even read all of. So, And there's a lot of different examples like this. There's a lot of pieces of information that are stretched or just plain untrue by bad actors on the internet who are probably trying to uh, promote their savior complex or try to make money from the situation or, or in some form of way but i assure you that there is 100 percent cause for concern in this situation because there are some really horrific things that have been going on now it is super important that we talk about the dark history of this shelter house of love and the true events of everything surrounding it but i want to start with the shocking video of totu we need to know exactly what the situation was there so again terrible video shocking saddening one of the most gut-wrenching videos that i've ever seen so this is a photo from the children's neurological hospital in baku um you'll see uh, cold sores on Totu's mouth that's because she has H HSV1 and obviously this is an oral virus where blisters pop up around the mouth it's commonly known as just look at your screen and what can happen with this virus is it can spread to the brain if not properly treated or if it's a young child her symptoms were vicious and included convulsions three times in one day for four days a fever cries when touched decreased muscle tone tendon reflexes were weak couldn't hold her neck up, sits weakly, squirms while sitting, doesn't speak. She had inflammation of the brain, inflammation of the spinal cord, and inflammation of the covering that protects the brain and the spinal cord. These are official documents from the hospital here, and apparently she got HSV-1 from her mother when she was a baby. Her first cold sore outbreak was uh, in the newborn period, 6-2022, and then 12-2022, and then 5-2022. 
and this is what led the inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. And I actually know somebody who has HSV1 and they got it in a very similar way when they were a baby. And this is all backed up in Totu's medical report. And it was during this very severe outbreak that Canole took the shocking video and posted it to her social media, which, let's be honest, has moral and ethical issues of its own. Like, you, sh you shouldn't do that. Interestingly enough, that's not what sparked the outrage. Hotu had already been on TV in Azerbaijan, so her and her mother's story was widely known in that country. Totu was on the set of that TV show for about 10 days. And at that point, another shelter owner named Kamala, who's also an activist, was sent that shocking video to which she took to her own social media and made a post. This is the post here, and remember, uh, this is translated from Azerbaijan, so the language is going to be broken. According to my information, the investigation is still ongoing. Every day, dozens of social network followers receive requests regarding the behavior of a lady named Kanul, who posts on Instagram under the name Love Children's Shelter, and her attitude towards children. How many times have I directed the State Committee on Family, Women, and Children's Problems? We had talks about this with the deputy head of the Sabachu District Executive Power, and when I spoke with the employees of the Sabachu District Police Department of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan, one word was said. The investigation is underway while we are waiting. What are we waiting for? The child named Totu to pass? Look at what the child has become in two years. What did the woman who shared the child's video and posted her number, what does a child who has not been given guardianship walk next to this person? Which I'm believing that she's saying that Kanol is not the guardian, but Kanol was the guardian, and I will show you that. Many times people wrote to me about the child is being hurt, but I can be factual. Currently, the fact is the image of the child in this situation Dear state institutions, I beg you, save this child. This child is uh, not going to last much longer. The Ministry of Health and the Republic of Azerbaijan will take the child for a full examination. The state agency, Compulsory Medical Insurance, will help. The police department will find a solution to take the child away from that woman. And according to Canole, it was this social media post that resulted in the shelter being raided uh, for the second time and Totu going viral. They called and I went to the shelter where the police told us that they raided our shelter because of the post Kamala made in which she tagged all ministries related to family and child care issues. It's just Kamala's way of living a lifestyle that consists of falsely accusing people without any factual backing. After checking the place, the police concluded that everything was okay and they left being extremely grateful to us. I did get my hands on a translated uh, copy of a news organization covering the raid. Place Love is an orphanage. On May 10, during the monitoring carried out by state authorities, it became known that children were being violently treated in the mentioned children's shelter. Although we wanted to get a statement from the Love House Women and Children's Shelter, they initially refused to make a statement. Claiming that the shooting was illegal, police officers were called to the area. After the arrival of the police officers, the organizer of the shelter, Konul Gasimova made a statement, albeit with difficulty. He stated that the information spread is wrong. The shelter does not abuse children, and this is not that shelter. Knoll went on to blame Kamala for starting the rumors and ruining the reputation of uh, House of Love. I, I, don't, I don't know if I believe this because there's a lot of sketchy things going on, but this is what she said in interview. <laughs> Sure. Totu's mother Shalel even spoke out against Kamala saying that she first took Totu to Kamala's shelter but Kamala turned her away. Everyone is asking where is the mother of this child? I'm here. I would like to hold my face to Kamala and remember that when I used to come to her with a sick child, she did not let me in the door. You don't deserve my shelter, she quoted her saying. You kicked me out. What help are you talking about? Now you want to take away my daughter with my welcome, but you won't see it. You say I lead a dishonorable life, but you have no proof. I also filed a complaint about you with the police. Kanal also moved to sue Kamala for the words that she said. This child was in an intensive care unit of the hospital under the Ministry of Health. That is, he was officially registered there. She, remember the uh, translation. The child is also registered at the Children's Neurological Hospital, and we have all the evidence. All these documents will be officially submitted to court. Kamala did explain why she turned Totu and her mother away. When her mom came to me, all she wanted to do was leave Totu at the shelter. 
I told her, my child, she's very small. What illnesses does she have? What illnesses do you have? Initially, she told me she's pregnant. My husband hurts me and I can't live with him. That's why I left the house. I was also informed that Totu has issues with her lungs. Tell me how I was supposed to accept a child without having it tested for disabilities and illnesses it could have. I told her that I could contact the Ministry of Public Health and the local medical union to get the baby admitted in a hospital and get a diagnosis for her condition. The diagnosis will help us care for the baby in the future. She criticized Kanal for using Totu for views. In December, people sent me this video of Totu standing while being fed soup and she's shivering. After that, I checked the other posts by House of Love. Images of a child being sick, admitted in a hospital. After this, I couldn't take it. I went ahead and posted about it on my social media. Because to be fair, this was already public information. Because Miss Kanal already shared it herself. It's not like I took somebody's private video and shared it. In my post, I tagged Azerbaijani Committee of Family, Women, and Children Problems, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, the head prosecutor's office, and said this, this child is dying. After this, Kanul started insulting me online. I didn't respond to a single one of her messages. If I was wrong, she can sue me. It's obvious to me that Kanul knew how popular Totu was from the attention that she was receiving online for being on the TV show. And I'm betting that's why she was willing to cut corners. She says as much in an interview. On local television, she was already known in Azerbaijan. Totu was on the set of the show for 10 days, so there was nothing for me to hide. It's kind of crazy to me how these people will tell on themselves in a public setting like this. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Interestingly enough, she still posts Totu to this day. As a result, she gets more views than other videos, albeit a lot less since the uh, trial and conviction exposed House of Love, which we're going to get to that soon. Kamala makes a really good point about being able to generate views from Totu. This woman, Kanul, initially started going on Instagram Live. Then I noticed her on TikTok Live. People sent me her saved live streams once they would end. And I noticed they were filled with foreigners and she would greet them in different languages. I couldn't understand what was happening. There were so many foreigners watching her streams and I think with the help of the algorithm, Totu's videos managed to circulate on the internet. And if we were to go live right now and use Totu's picture, thousands of people would be like, oh wow, let's watch this. So it's pretty obvious there's a massive amount of misinformation to do with this case while at the same time using a child for views is disgusting. Worse people who perpetuate dishonest narratives for views. And to be honest, the creator who is doing the deep dives, she's not even sure if this is a girl or not because there are articles that indicate that this is actually a boy and that they're dressing her up as a girl. So we don't freaking know you know, what exactly they're doing. They're just clearly making money off of her. Something ironic about somebody saying that we don't exactly know what they're doing while at the same time, they don't actually know what they're saying. <laughs> we need to normalize not saying things if we don't know if they're true. And that being said, uh, the police wouldn't just have raided House of Love off of Kamala's social media post if there wasn't some reason, if there wasn't some substantial reason for them to worry. Brace yourself, it's time to talk about the dark past of this shelter. Back in 2021, the House of Love shelter was exposed for terrible things to do with children, to which Canole was a suspect. Apparently a woman who worked at the shelter who goes by the name of, uh, it's gonna be hard to say this, Nazkenenim. Ah, oh, there's no way, okay. Anyways, this person was convicted under Article 133.2.1 and 133.2.4 uh, in Azerbaijan, which is which basically equates to hurting minors. Now, I'm not able to explain to you in great depth what this person did to these children and what other people in the shelter were accused of doing to these children because YouTube will not let me and if i do then they'll probably suppress the video and the video is probably in danger of being suppressed anyways so do me a favor make sure you engage with this video by liking commenting subscribing because it helps promote out the video and the algorithm and keeps it from being suppressed i do feel like this is an important topic so if you want to help me you can do that for me uh, let me know if you're a new subscriber in the comment section below Post some uh, positivity turtle emojis to uh, promote some uplifting positivity since this is a heavy heavy topic now, if you'll look at your screen right here, you can read what ha what happened. You can read also here. You can read here. 
and much worse than that. Now, I am going to put this in, I'm going to link it below. I'm going to upload this so you guys can see this. It's uh, the whole uh, trial and case and uh, all the testimonies and everything. But warning, it's sensitive topics for sure. You're going you're gonna to be careful reading this before you click in there. Now, these things were proven without a doubt in a court of law, as can be seen here. The totality of the objective evidence collected and studied at the court hearing, questioned at the court hearing, was fully proven by the declared victims, witness statements, expert opinions on the case, and other documents in the case materials. It's also very important to note that several other members that worked at the House of Love were also under investigation, including Canul. Around May 2022, a girl named Emilia and her mother made a complaint against the House of Love and Canul. Emilia also went on interview with the news station to give details of what happened. That interview has since been removed, and I'll explain why in just a little bit later. And again, I couldn't play all the details because of the just terrible dark nature of what happened. But uh, here's a cop kind of summarizing what happened. It says the person did witness things happen to other children. And this, in read your screen here, this type of case was opened against Kanul. It should be noted that Kanul said Emilia came to the shelter because her mother was harming her. It says that 15-year-old Emilia sought refuge from her mother's illegal actions against her and was later brought to the shelter by police on February 2022. After two months of staying here, her mother came with police and took her forcefully home. The mother of Amelia says, I was angry with my 15-year-old daughter for her doing wrong actions. An investigation is currently underway based on my complaint. That being the one where they raided. Now, it turns out during the investigation in the trial documents, it says that Emilia was pressured by her mother to say false statements. It says Emilia said those words under the influence of her mother. What Emilia said is not true. She has slandered. There's evidence that Emilia had a difficult relationship with her mother as she spoke about it on television. There was also evidence of Emilia and her mother arguing outside of the shelter. Ultimately, Emilia and her mother's statements against Canole was rejected because there was no evidence that she did these things that they were saying. This video was very dense and there's a lot of nuance, which is obvious. The House of Love obviously seems like a horrific place. Terrible things went down and I don't, I really don't personally trust anybody there. Um, these things, though they are alleged, uh, another thing that makes me sick is the way that influencers in the West covered these narratives with such falseness and without presenting all sides, all facts, so the viewers could clearly see what was going on without uh, vague conspiracies. Um, because that did contribute into hurting those involved, and I, that's never what we want. These children are already living difficult lives, and we shouldn't make it any worse by promoting misinformation. And if we truly want to help, we want to do it in the best way that we have available and that we can. Because um, even though there's children hurting there, there are children hurting all over the world. And with the resources that we can help with, we should. So that being said, I am running a charity to help children in difficult situations. It is to the right on desktop or below on mobile. We're almost at $3,000. I really want to hit that goal in this video. If each of you just donate just $1, you don't have to. It's if you feel or you have the availability to do so, go ahead and do it if you want to help. If uh, one, per one person does $1, thousands of people see my videos, we should be able to meet that and more in this video. So uh, if you do donate, let me know in the comment section below. That being said, and as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. Switch, go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. Here, let me get one of these.
there you go. I do want to thank my patrons for your continued and ongoing support. And if you want to support me in this channel and get your name at the end of my videos like these cool guys, then I'll put that in the pinned comment. And again, big thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Remember, use code RIPZILLA55 off to get 55% off of your first month at Scentbird. Very dense video. I'm going to be uploading more. Let me know what topics you want me to cover. Go over to my Instagram. I'm going to be uploading more over there as well. And uh, that's just no way to show that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're Greg. And how you do that, all you do is subscribe, notification, turn on, be in the comment section of every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there in spirit and the rest of the Repsol community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. There's a lot. There's a lot. It's going to take so long to edit.